right, guys, so we will be reviewing the Rule Breaker Jesus Corona or the Tecasito, Tecasito, whatever it is. I don't know how to I don't know how to pronounce that. He has arguably, in my opinion, the best card of the rule uh, of the rule breakers team too at least one of the best cards you have you know solid pace shooting passing dribbling 92 stamina and you can kind of do whatever you want with it. if you want to be a winger you can put a catalyst if you want to be a cam or uh, you know be a cam you can be a hunter or a catalyst if you want them to you know to be a little bit better at kind of all of those things you can do a balance chem style or an engine or a dead eye or a finisher right you can do certain things to up whatever you want on this card but he also has five star five star all right and that's what makes him so special all right his dribbling is incredible in fact i don't understand how it's 88 because it has 94 agility 90 balance 88 dribbling only two stats are below 88 and they're at 87 all right so I, yeah i don't really understand how his dribbling is 88 it feels like 90 We've played a few games with him. With a Catalyst, with that pace boost, he feels incredibly fast because, again, his dribbling is also good. He doesn't have an average body type or a stocky body type. I believe it's a lean body type. Along with that, he has 97 attack positioning just on the base Rule Breaker card itself. And so we've been playing him center attacking mid. And in the few games that we played him at, he has four goals and an assist. And he's been stellar. The only downside is the links. You have to get Manifa at right back in order to really get a decent card, and that's, you know, the Road to the Knockout Manifa, which is extinct, which makes sense because, again, that's kind of the only decent link for Jesus Corona. So we're going to go into some champs, really test out how good he is, see if he can consistently play at that center attacking mid spot. Gameplay has been especially poopy the last couple of days, so I just want a decent game. You were a stud last game out with that dribbling and that and that pace that you have. I expect some more good work from you, but we got it. All right, Tecasito, Tecasito. Oh, look at that pace, look at that pace. Gets around, five-star weak foot, finish, baby! Into the upper corner. Tecasito, let's go, baby! Like, and see, that's the thing. Like, his shooting is already decent. I don't know if you need to upgrade it, which is why I personally have a catalyst on him. I don't think he needs a shooting boost, at least not as much as he needs a passing boost, especially if he's playing at cam. Okay, what are we doing here? Tecasito, or Tecasito you have good... Nope. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, just could not get him the ball. That's lovely. Oh, f me, dude. First shot, by the way, so that's fine. That's lovely. There you go, Tegasito. There you go. There you go. There you go. Five-star weak foot. Love it. Love it. Five-star weak foot, five-star skills. You can do that Burba spin. You can do that Magidi spin all day, and you can finish it with either foot. That's what makes him so special. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, Artie. Oh, it is just Marco and Tecasito out here. Are they the most deadly duo in FIFA 22? Yeah, Te oh yeah, Tecasito. Oh, Tecatito. Well, I've been pronouncing it multi like completely wrong this whole time. Takes the defender away and then we can't do anything there. Oh, yes. He has he has better uh, defending than like any attacker. So we can we can defend from the front. Go. Go! Uh, we want- we want to pad- pad the stats! Oh my god, that was actually a really good overlap. You got it. There we go. Okay. Um, game. 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 It's a one-goal game for no reason. Tegatito? Oh! Oh! Okay, oh, this game's broken. Oh my god, dude. J Okay, his positioning like you can you can really feel the 97 positioning man first game for Tecatito And I think he gets a few goals and assists. I'm not sure how many now initially we did force it at the end though When it got too close for no goddamn reason then we started to actually play a little bit more So Jesus was man of the match with two goals Arnautovic with another goal Dybala with a goal That's the thing so he only had two goals in that game But he was heavily involved in our fourth and final goal He himself should have had the goal I mean and it's obviously not going to be an assist But the ball got the goal because Teca uh, Tito shot it off the post Which again should have been a goal should have been a hat trick All right Gomez LaCroix some you know he's catching a vibe right now Oh he is. He is. He's open. What a touch. Oh my God. Come on, man. Dude, he's so good at finding those, those little spots, those little holes. It kind of pisses me off when we should have been up and then he scores anyway. Really? Is this what we're doing? Huh? Huh, game? 
Like, it's not hard, man. That's a simple pass. He That needs to be completed. Why is it not completed? Tekatito! Oh my god. Anyone on this right side want to do anything? There you go, Arnie. Arnie, pl Oh, yeah, he moved- yeah, move your goalie, you piece of sh you bum. We hit the crossbar with Tecatito already in, like, the first minute, and then he scores, and then parks the bus. Again, like, we should be winning. Lopez, I- Oh, and here come the through balls, here comes the through balls, through balls, through balls. Wow, it's like I knew exactly what was going to happen. And he's celebrating as if that's a good f***ing goal, man. I don't understand this game. That should be my ball every f***ing time. I am marking that every time. It's a simple pass. Because he doesn't have a billion passing or because I didn't just try to break the game, it's not going to work. Bull, you lost 4-0. No. He, I lost against the AI. I did not lose against him. I do not understand this game. But hey, remember guys, this is the best FIFA we've ever had. This is the best FIFA of the Frostbite engine. This is the best FIFA ever. Let's go into one more game and see what's going to happen. But yeah, no, we'll try it. We'll try this one more time though. We'll try this one more time. Look how f***ing easy that is, man. It's a good ball. Finish. Okay? No, that's fine. That's fine. That's a tough shot. Let's go. Dabala. Up and over. Lovely. Great touch. What is that? Barella? Oh my god, please. Oh my god, that's such a good run, dude. That is something I can say game in, game out about Tecatito, man. His positioning is so goddamn good. Tecatito has one goal this game, deserves another goal, deserves an assist, deserves more than just one goal. Tecatito, Tecatito. Oh, if that's... Okay, that's fine. That's... No, no, it's not. Just kidding. Pepe! Oh! Oh, I don't care. You think I care? Nah, we should have had another goal. In an assist for Jesus Corona. And I know that's not going to be a goal or an assist for him. Do you know how little I care at all? Only a 2-0 win. And I do not understand how I, I... I understand how. Because the passing in this game is completely utter trash. Pepe with man of the match. But Jesus Corona does get one goal. He should have had another goal. Should have had an assist or two. If the passing was better. If the movement was pa was better. We played five games with him total. He had seven goals and one assist. He is a good player. And I genuinely believe that. The five star five star is very helpful. Especially in the attack. The attack positioning at 97 is felt for sure. He's always in the right spot. He's always making good runs. It's just whether or not EA is going to allow you to get the ball to him. Or you know get the ball around and pass it around. And, you know, do what you actually want to do. It's going to be up to EA, not yourself. Again, stats-wise, he's great. He can dribble. He can run. He can shoot very well. I think something like a, a hunter, to put that at finishing up, to put that shot power up, having him at striker is not a bad idea. And something that I would probably recommend because I don't think his passing could get to, to to get to a spot good enough to be at center attacking mid. I think he'd be better at striker. So that is going to do it for the review on Jesus Corona. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been DMG. Peace.